<laughs> Welcome to Hillside Farm. My name is Ruth McKinney and I'm so happy to have you along for our summer series. We're doing a different, you know, a different clip each week on YouTube to kind of give you summer recipes, entertaining, and some of it just has to do with how do we help you have tools to create intentional family time, making memories in the summer when everybody's home. So today we're going to talk about something very near and dear to my heart, and that has to do with how to love each one of your family members well. And I'm going to tell a story because this is what started me down this road. My mom and I, all my life, were like oil and water in terms of we didn't understand each other. It was like we talked two very different languages, especially when it came to um, I didn't feel loved by her in certain ways and she definitely didn't buy me and here I was trying so hard and I knew she was trying so hard and we just didn't connect and I had had you know I had four babies in five years <clears throat> and then my fifth came on along a couple years later but on my fourth baby I mean I remember it specifically because my mom was coming to help me I'd gotten home from the hospital and I said to my husband oh no mom's coming she's just gonna want to sit next to me next to me while I'm in bed and want a cup of tea and talk. And I've got four children under five. One is a newborn. Everyone's raising cane throughout the house. The house has fallen down, I feel like, and no food's been prepared. I just want someone to help me. Mom doesn't really get that. And it was fascinating because sure enough, mom came, wanted to sit next to my bed and wanted to talk and have tea. And I wanted to pull my hair out. Well. Fast forward a little bit, mom's left. I'm walking one next one day. Um, a friend gave me a book and it was called The Five Love Languages. Now, in any way that I can help you avoid mistakes that I made, that's why I'm telling you these stories. So she gives me this book, it's called The Five Love Languages. And the premise is, is that every one of us tends to show love and wanna receive love in a certain way usually in five categories. Now, it's not that you don't have a little bit of each, but it's usually predominantly in one. Here's the five, acts of service. What acts of service is, you generally, you're that Martha in the Martha Mary series, right? You're the one cleaning, you're the one fixing for everybody. What can I do for you, helping? That's my personality, that's my husband's personality. Next, words of affirmation. That's the person who they feel loved when you leave them a message of, you're amazing, you're fantastic, great job. All right, words of affirmation. Number three, gifts. Now, you know that person, they always have a gift for everybody or they wanna receive gifts. It doesn't matter if they're a $5 gift or a $100 gift, it doesn't matter. They feel loved by gifts. So gifts. Then we've got quality time, which obviously was my mother. She just wanted to sit and talk to me and hear about my day and hear things about me. That's quality time. And then number five, that's touch. It's that person that wants to be hugged. It wants you to touch them on the head when they walk by, hold their hand. It's just the person that that's the way they give and receive love. So I get this list, I read this book and it dawns on me. I mean, I was in tears before I was halfway through the book and I called my mom and I said, Mom, we've been missing each other for 35 years. I said, I'm acts of service. All I wanna do when I come to your house is clean it or make meals or help you. You know, she had cancer at the time. And I said, all you wanna do is talk to me, your quality time. And for the first time, my mom and I understood each other. And she was so sweet. She said, Mom, Ruth, the next time you have a baby, let me come to your house. All I want for you to do is have a couple cups of tea with me and read and listen or talk. And then I promise I will watch your kids and clean it. Now I want you to fast forward maybe five or six years. And the reason I say this, I put that book on the shelf. I thought I solved the problem with my mother and I. Fast forward, five kids. Bob and I were talking and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm changing hats every five minutes. I can't please this child the way I please this child. Nobody ends up happy with me. I don't know how to do this. And I was walking by that same bookshelf and out jumps the five love languages. And my husband and I read it together and then we sat the family down, all the kids, and it actually ended up being a really fun exercise. 
because we went through all five and each child said what they were. And you know, my husband and I, my husband in particular, he is not a touch person. He's not real huggy. He's not gonna, you know, hold, you know, walk up and hold the kids' hands all the time. It's just not his way. But I have a child, that is their way. And it was important for Bob to begin to show that child love in that way. So they felt loved by him. So I want you to avoid so many of the pitfalls that I had to go through to kind of figure out how to communicate love with my kids. And um, that's what this series is for, is kind of helping you, whether it's entertaining, decorating family traditions, or just me telling you ways I've blown it and helping encourage you and give you tools in the future. That's what I want to do. So definitely check out, so www.hungryforhome with the number four is my website where I always have recipes or different things. And then Hungry for Home, F-O-R, Home, Instagram. And on Tuesdays, I give a tip of the week. And again, it could be a recipe. It could be a family tradition. It, there's so many different things that I do on Tuesdays. And on Wednesdays, we're doing this new thing called Wedding Wednesdays. And what that is, is I have a daughter getting married in October. So on Wednesdays, we'll be doing something about the upcoming Wednesday, which is really great and actually fitting because I do have one son-in-law. I have another son-in-law coming into the family. So this is very timely. Like what's his love language? How is he gonna feel appreciated and loved by his new parents-in-law? I mean, it's a really big deal and it's really important. So if there is anything I can do to help give you the tools to be a better mom or to be a better dad or sibling or child, that's what I wanna do. So I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, we'll see you soon.